Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics and Neonatology. This video is about heller warden spare syndrome. This is also known as pentothenate kinase associated neurodegeneration. It is an autosomal recessive disorder and the mutated gene is PANK2 which is located on the chromosome 20. Now this mutation results in an inborn error of coenzyme A metabolism which result in the deficiency of pentothenate kinase enzyme. Now this deficiency may lead to the accumulation of cysteine and cysteine containing compounds in the basal ganglia of the brain. Now this causes chelation of the iron in the globus pallidus and other basal ganglia components. And there is rapid auto-oxidation of the cysteine in the presence of iron with subsequent free radical production. Now the onset, the childhood form is evident before 6 years of age. Now the clinical findings of HST. This causes a wide variety of symptoms that vary based on the severity of the disease and how long it is progressed. Distorting muscle contractions are a common symptom of HST. They may occur in face, trunk and the limbs. Unintentional jerky muscle movements are another symptoms. Patient may also experience involuntary muscle contractions that cause abnormal posture or slow recurring movements. This is known as dystonia. HSD may also make it difficult to coordinate movements and this is known as ataxia. Eventually, it can cause an inability to walk after 10 or more years of the initial symptoms. Other symptoms of HSD include rigid muscles, writhing movements, tremors, seizures, confusion, disorientation, stupor, dementia, weakness, drooling, difficulty swallowing or dysphagia, and hyperreflexia. Less common symptoms include vision changes, poorly articulated speech, facial grimacing, and painful muscle spasm. Now the laboratory studies. On MRI brain, there is iron deposit in the basal ganglia and typical eye of the tiger sign is seen. This is evident as bilateral symmetrical central foci of hyperintense signals in the anteromedial globus pallidus with surrounding zone of hypointensity in the globus pallidus. Now, there may be abnormal cytosomes in the lymphocytes and sometimes acanthocytes are present on the peripheral film. Now, the clinical course of HST. There is progressive mental and motor deterioration and death usually occur by early adulthood. Now, the treatment. It is usually symptomatic. Methscopolamine bromide is given for drooling. Baclofen for dystonia. Benztropin, which is an anticholinergic drug, is used to treat muscle rigidity and tremors. Mementin, rivastigmine, or donepizil is given to treat symptoms of dementia. Bromocryptin, premipixol, or levodopa is used to treat dystonia and Parkinson like symptoms. Okay friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative videos.